if you've been browsing the internet lately, you've probably come across this supposed Nintendo's Project Cafe. Interesting code name since the, um, what was it? The code name for the Nintendo Wii was Project Revolution. Now, Project Cafe, IGN.com broke this, so I'm getting my information from there as well as some comments that were posted on that website. Um, it looks like this is going to be the new video game console to be released by Nintendo, and it's being dubbed the Wii 2. Now, nothing is official. This is all purely speculation. It could be that they release a virtual reality helmet, for all I know, but uh, at least we have something to speculate on and to look at. Um, currently, the new console, the Wii 2, I'm going to call it Project Cafe, uh, the console would surpass the processing power of the current 360 and the PS3. Now, we don't know any technical data on new consoles such as the PS4 or this um, this console itself. I don't know what Microsoft is coming up with, but as far as we know right now, we can't really set a benchmark to see um, what the processing powers are like. And people are already saying, oh, it's going to be weaker than the PS4. It's going to be weaker than the PS4. I don't want it. I don't want it. But honestly, where are you getting the numbers for the benchmark is my question. Um, for the pictures I saw, it's a dual analog design controller. It's more like the Xbox 360 design rather than the PS3 controller design where on the Xbox 360 you have your diagonal analog sticks and on the PS3 they're more uh, along a straight path if you draw a line through them. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the 360 controller, but that's also due to the fact that I haven't really touched one as much. Um, I'm, more in, I'm more used to a PS3 controller, but um, I'm sure we can work around it. Now, here's the interesting... Uh, tech innovative concept that they may have come up with. Um, they're thinking about putting a 6 inch LCD screen into the dual analog controller. Wait, alright, can I you repeat? Now I have a couple questions about a controller like this. First, is a 6 inch LCD screen too big? Second, are they going to upgrade their Bluetooth software? Right now the Nintendo Wii uses Bluetooth software for the controller to communicate data and um, I forget what Bluetooth version they're on, but they would need to upgrade, I think, to 3.0, which would allow f also for video communication. Um, is it going to be a good gameplay experience? What can they do? Uh, at first thought, when I thought this over for about maybe 10 minutes, they could include items such as item swapping, subscreens, maps, weapons, etc. Stuff like that. I think that would work out really well. One thing I do hope Nintendo stays away from is when they had the Nintendo Wii in certain games, for example, I'm going to use Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess as an example. When you swung your sword or you selected an item, a little sound would come out of the controller. I, that's a little gimmicky. I didn't really like that. So I hope they stay away from that for the controller and they just use it for more functionality. Versus motion controls, I think this is a little more utilitarian. Another question I have is, what are the manufacturing costs? And obviously that's none of my business, but from the engineering profession, I can tell you manufacturing costs and markup prices are extremely important. And another one is, are we going to hear anything in E3 about this? That's going to be another important thing. I want to know, and I'm sure everybody else wants to know, what's going on with Project Cafe. And currently Nintendo hasn't really said anything yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure they'll say something pretty soon.